So we're gonna do a quick and short and beautiful video. Shout out to Agabas, who at BotCon, I met up with them and I got this exclusive. This is the Archforge BotCon exclusive, Crystal Wolfeki and the Crystal Armor Sterler, based off the Toys Alliance X BotCon uh, crossover exclusive. It's a Warhammer homage. And we all know that I've been having a blast doing the Warhammer stuff, but these little cool guys, um, unfortunately I had lost my original video. So I'm reshooting it now, which I'm pretty happy about having to reshoot it because now I can do even better photos now that I have it. But yeah, here we are with our, our little guy here. We actually, it's cool because this has a nice, beautiful double joint. And for it to be 135th scale, there's actually a lot of thought and engineering put into this tiny guy, which is crazy because I didn't realize it. I think the only drawback is that I can't get the arms to lift because it, my joints are still so tight. So I'm going to go back and reheat that up as it's set out in the cold for a while. We have a friction ball joint here which will allow it for when we add the weapons, it'll be able to carry it. We have a beautiful double joint here at the knees, and I guess that's gonna help with our figure, obviously. We have even a beautiful ankle hinge, but no toe pivot, obviously because we're so tiny and that works out. But the craziest part about this is going to be our armor. This is gonna be a short and sweet video, but uh, cause there's nothing I can compare this to, to be honestly. But here is our beautiful road raging crystal armor. And it does transform as you can see, we have our wolf head poking out in the back. We'll talk about that in a second. But I do love the blues on this. They're translucent, they're beautiful. And this is like our transforming gimmick. I love this. Oh, by the way, wheels actually move. Always a plus in my book. So as you can see here, it's nice, it's sturdy, and it's beautiful. But with that being said though, now we're gonna get to transforming it. We all know I don't transform things on screen. So let's get to transforming and talking about it. So honestly, this is what I enjoy about stuff like this. It is a simple transformation, even though I didn't want to transform it on screen. I, on screen, I have transformation anxiety, but we still have a beautiful open crystal jaw and we can really see how those blues shine in his transformed mode. Simple legs with beautiful articulation that allows us to tuck in very well. We can still poseable in and out and will allow me to really like have a good time. Like I really like it. Also, one thing that I didn't even realize because I'm late to this line, very, very late to this line, is that there is a third component for combining it into a much larger form. As you can see, there's a fist underneath there, and that's because there is a third combiner option for it, which now I'm gonna try to have to track them down. Uh, hopefully I'm not too, too late, but I would love to track them down and really do some transformation stuff. But we also get other accessories, especially for our little guy right here. We will get an add-on cape for the back of him, like any other captain in Warhammer. I love that he'll get it like a tiny cape. I'm gonna make him try to live good. There's his division. And I thought it was a space wolf, but no, probably something similar. But look how good these two look together, just like this. It's one of those things I really like. Then you will get a power ax, which again, I love Warhammer, so I'm here for this. You will get a cannon for him to carry, but I do believe you can store that cannon on the back of this when it's in vehicle mode. You'll get an extra missile. Then you'll get another add-on part here for combining those two, as well as a slew of hands, which honestly, let me take them back out because <laughs> this is what I get for not doing it before the photos yet. And I put them back in, but let's actually roll it all out so you can see. You will get, I love the little horn though. This is probably one of my favorite accessories. And this is a reference to like the Space Wolves of Valhalla. This is why I thought he was in the Space Wolves. But that's not the case here. But like I said, it's crazy because for 135th scale and to have these tiny cool hands is to add a bunch of different, uh, what is the word? It adds personality to it. Here we have with a thumbs up hand. As I continue to go through the bag, one of the coolest things is that they also give him a tiny revolver. This is adorable. It's like, what is, what is a space marine gonna do? Don't forget a hand claymore. I thought that was dope. And we have parts of our utility belt that we can actually add things into. And you will get a trigger and pointing hand as well. The pointing hand you actually get two of. But yeah, like I was saying, it's tough because it's one of those things where I don't have anything scale wise to compare to, but I'm very happy with the set came with. It's one of those things where if I'm at a con and I saw this and I thought it was cool, definitely picking it up. And that's exactly what happened. Ended up picking it up. So here we have our cool power axe character. 
I always love when axes are bigger than the entire person. But again, if it's one of those things where you're not into this, I hope you enjoy the photos and help you reconsider because there's always something out there that's cool that you just don't know about. So here's to it. In the meantime, guys, thank you so much. Thank you to Agabas for putting me onto this line. I'm, now I have a new thing to try out and a new thing to enjoy on my desk. So as always, please be good, do good, and drink your water.